Well, several efforts have been put in place by government of Uganda to ensure that agriculture stands out as the country's dependable sector. And such efforts include, but not limited, to free farm inputs through operations, wealth creation, establishment of agriculture-related policies to promote high production for export, with most recent being the speed response to the locust invasion. Well, unfortunately, the outcomes from this sector do not necessarily reflect the efforts being invested in the farm yields, according to the Ministry of Agriculture. And right now, as Elijah Turiagumane, where you join us from the Skyline Studios, we want to find out the missing link. And I understand you're going to speak to the chief of party at AVSI Foundation, but he also happens to be a poverty reduction and development specialist. So, Elijah, this conversation will probably answer many questions that critics say that as much as government is saying is investing in agriculture, well, the execution is where the problem is. And of course, uh, going back to the subject matter, agriculture contributes 26, 26 to 27 percent to Uganda's GDP and also employs over 69 percent, which is a very huge figure looking at that digit and trying to split it. But uh, we, we see youth here and then you know, being involved in agriculture actively and seeing that uh, they can actually improve the economy. Uh, this evening, we're going to be joined by the party chief skilling youth and also uh, empowering youth to see that they get employed in agribusiness and I'm going to be holding this particular discussion with the chief of party of this of, of AFSA, AFSI rather, the chief of party AFSI uh, is going to be uh, casting an eye on this and helping us understand you are the chief of, uh, of, of uh, you're the chief of uh, Party FC and yes. for this particular the Sky project for this particular project of employ rather skilling youth for employment in agribusiness, uh, Mr. Samuel Otim Rizzo, uh, help the viewers understand out there uh, where is Uganda going wrong wrong for us for us improving our agricultural sector is concerned. Right. Thank you very much. Um, of course, agriculture, as we just mentioned, has a great potential for the economy of the, of the country, not only in terms of food production, but also in terms of uh, increasing uh, the GDP and uh, employment of uh, youths within the country. It's a sector that, as I say, we are building the aircraft while flying. So um, we go up and we go down, we tie a knot here and we try to fix it up. According to my analysis, uh, one of the things that are actually uh, missing in the sector are the uh, is financial access. Financial access for youths to start up, financial access for farmers that are already in the business to increment and improve their businesses. Not only for the production locally, but also to look at the broader and international markets. Uh, in Europe, for example, 34% uh, of the European uh, Union's budget is on incentives. So the question would be, why wouldn't Uganda look at incentives uh, for uh, agripreneurs to improve their businesses. On, these, on that very particular matter, how based can financing be improved for farmers? Well, there are various ways. A huge topic is a monster that needs to be unpacked. But uh, one of the easiest way is uh, through, of course, government incentives. Um, that is if policies uh, can be put in place so that uh, um, farmers can access these incentives. <laughs> Uh, another way is to look at the financial systems in terms of banking, but not only, uh, also SACOs, etc. Mm -hmm. One of the downfall of these aspects are more the interest rates that are usually very high and uh, not uh, possible for farmers to uh, access them. Um, they could actually access them easily, but then the they repayment and the risk mm -hmm. of paying back. Are, are, are huge. Mm -hmm. Away from financing, um, are there particular and unique efforts that you think youth can actually take towards improving the agricultural sector? Yeah, the project that I am actually implementing is looking at uh, youths, uh, creating job opportunities for youths in the sector. And the youths are uh, the largest chunk of the population in Uganda. Um, they are very innovative and very creative um, in all the value chains. Um, they really engage and embrace agriculture as a, as a something as a core business for them. Uh, I have in mind, uh, for example, just last week uh, we were hosting an event uh, 
in one of our institutions, and we and there was uh, we did a business pitch competition, and one of the girl, one of the youths that won was a, a female who started producing paper bags from banana leaves. Um, this is just an example to show how creative a youth can, uh, can get into. Predominantly, Uganda is an agricultural economy. Um, what are some of the efforts that are being taken by development partners to see that they improve the agricultural sector independently, uh, considering the fact that various sectors depend on the agricultural sector for survival, for instance, the industrial sector? Yeah, one of the greatest, the biggest donors that we have in, uh, in Uganda is, of course, the Embassy of the Kingdom of the Netherlands. Just recently at the Harvest Expo that has happened during the weekend, they had a whole Netherlands village. Um, and these are kind of the initiatives. So try, not, first of all, to link and connect with uh, other entrepreneurs from abroad that can, uh, uh, this kind of commerce and trade can uh, eventually generate development. Mm -hmm. Uh, other aspects are development partners are also looking at uh, uh, developing the value chains. So, for example, the potato value chain, rice value chains, etc. Looking at all those uh, aspects uh, with the focus with the, on the market. On our side, we are more of a project uh, looking at, uh, it's an enabling project. It's a project that tries to get youths employed in the sector. There's a very high percentage of youth who are unemployed because the, uh, let me say, the education system uh, tends not to respond to what the demand of the labor markets are. So we have many youths that are graduated, for example, from uh, tertiary institutions who do not have a job. And the only thing that they could try to do is to embrace agriculture and start. And we are here to assist them in that process. Absolutely. It shook me recently when I found out that uh, Uganda actually imports agricultural products to sustain our industrial sector. Uh, what best can be done to improve? We need to improve uh, quality uh, of, of our produce because we are producing, but not enough. Um, for the country and the population is increasingly growing. That's, uh, that's one. Uh, so look at more at, uh, at, at the production level. Look at the quantity and the quality. But uh, there's a lot of counterfeit products in the market in terms of seeds, in terms of uh, pesticides, in terms of uh, all the other inputs that are necessary to increase the production. And this is one of the downfall Absolutely. because uh, several programs also included coming from the uh, embassy of the Kingdom of the Netherlands as well are looking at specifically developing the seeds value chains and uh, it's, it's a great job because there's a lot of stuff outside there which is uh, at the end of the day it's counterproductive for the production. Absolutely, thank you very much. Thank you. Mr. Samuel Otim Rizzo, the, uh, the Chief of Party Skilling Youth for Employment in Agribusiness speaking to us about agri agriculture and how best we can improve our agricultural sector to see that uh, we can improve 